Well, this is embarrassing. I've messed up. I have messed up big time. I am so happy to be out in the van, camera packed in the back. We have beautiful weather, the promise of light. I have no plans, no expectations. I've got a guidebook, I've got some food, I've got a Porsche to take it up off the road. Oh, it's gonna be good. It's nice to get out of the office. It's nice to stop talking about gear. No gear, not today. It's all about being out with the camera. Yeah, looking forward to this. Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. So I don't know how much this is gonna come across on this camera, but the weather has, or is currently going from beautifully sunny to very foreboding, dramatic black skies, heavy rain in the distance, and it looks like the location I'm going to is gonna be right on the border of that storm front. Now, my hope is that that storm front clears when we get to sunset, which is where I'm hopeful of the light and the shooting conditions. Oh, but right now it's looking quite menacing. Well, <laughs> we are right on the precipice of the storm. This is my parking spot. I'm not going to sleep here tonight. That is, uh, <laughs> that is some, another problem or a thing for future me to deal with. But this is where the hike starts. Oh. It looks like it could possibly be a wet one. <laughs> All right, so we have just driven into a mammoth storm, but I'm going to explain why that's a good thing. And I honestly, this wasn't planned. I just think I've got very lucky. Essentially, what I did was I checked the weather forecast for today, and then I have maybe five or six different locations spread around the north of England and the south of Scotland that I like to go to. One of those, of course, is the Yorkshire Dales National Park. And the Yorkshire Dales looked to me like it had the best potential for good light. All I want is light. So I got this, uh, this guidebook to give me an idea of some locations to check out, some walks to do. And we've ended up here, parked by the side of the road, <laughs> right at the beginning of the footpath. But it might move, and you'll see why in a second. So I'm going to open weather and radar, which shows a weather radar of this local area. And of course, somebody's walking right up the street and staring into the camera, so this is incredibly awkward. But let me just fiddle on with my phone until this guy's walked past, which is horribly awkward. <laughs> oh, there's nothing like somebody staring at you when you're a uh, big light on your face of a camera. Oh, I hate doing this. Right, anyway, where, <laughs> where were we? Um, let's look at the weather now. You can see here on the phone that red pin is where we are and you can see all those lightning storms and all of that weather that we essentially drove into. Now if actually we fast forward a little bit that rain's going to hit us and for the next couple of hours it's going to absolutely chuck it down. I can already hear the thunder. However here is what's really exciting. If I go forward to about seven o'clock it begins to clear. And by eight o'clock, nine o'clock, which is around when the sun will set, it's almost completely clear. Some fragments of cloud, lots of open sky and open space. And the best light always comes after a storm. And we've got a beautiful location, no more than half an hour's hike from here. Ah, but we do have time to kill because it's going to chuck it down. And I ain't going out in the rain unnecessarily. So I'm going to move to a more appropriate parking spot. This is this is handy because I'm right by the footpath, but I don't want to cook chicken and spend two hours here. So uh, I think we'll move. Oh gosh, it's already starting to rain. So uh, yep, yeah. we'll go find ourselves somewhere more comfortable to spend a couple of hours. This is tight, 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 tight. <laughs> uh, thought I was going to hit the wall then. Right. Looks like we might be able to squeeze in here. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah. 
The great thing about this van, it's so narrow, it can get in the tightest of spaces. And because it's off-road four-wheel drive, also rugged terrain doesn't matter. Look at that. Oh. All right. That is us for the next couple of hours. So, once again, I'm in the Yorkshire Dales National Park. Now, I've been here a lot recently, or at least it feels like I have, and for me, it's just a joy to be here, and I think there's one particular reason why, and that's limestone pavement. So, Yorkshire Dales is full of the stuff, and I struggle the most in summertime with the lack of contrast. Everything's green. It's green, 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 green trees on green grass, backed by green hills. But when you come to the Yorkshire Dales, you get that contrast with the limestone pavements, with those geometric shapes and the green trees. So the white limestone really breaks up the monotony of just green, 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 green. And actually, a tree in full leaf is a welcome addition to the limestone. And you can play so much with composition. And I think that's why I like it here in particular. Now, place I'm going to, uh, which I've just, I just pulled out of the guidebook. I'm not familiar with Yorkshire Dales, which is why this is such a big help. Um, it's called Southern Scales, and it's just, just a massive limestone pavement and trees. What more could you want? But for me, it's all about that weather that we have, or potentially anyway. I, mean, I feel like I'm getting my hopes up too much, but let me read you a, uh, a paragraph from the book whilst we wait for these storms to pass and enjoy our cup of tea. Southerscale is a small nature reserve perched on the flanks of Ingleborough to the northeast of Ingleton. It contains some terrific limestone pavement with the usual scattering of trees. It's an excellent location at any time of day and at any time of year as you can shoot in many directions. That is it, that's all you need. You know, you can shoot in many directions, you can play around with composition, but we are dependent, I think, on light. It stopped raining, and it's starting to brighten up a bit as well. I really think we could be on today. All right. <clears throat> No. I've lost my appetite now. It's just after seven o'clock and the sunset is at 9.40. So that's two hours, 40 minutes to get to our location, explore it and find a couple of compositions. I reckon it's about 15, 20 minutes from where I am now, but look at this for timing. Look at the sky behind me. It's already breaking up and beginning to clear. I am so hopeful that we're gonna get that light coming through. And because of all the heavy rain that we've had in the past couple of hours, there's lots of lots of moisture particles in the air. And that light is gonna diffract through those particles. And basically in a nutshell, what I'm hoping for is intense color, glow, a, a, an ethereal glow. But I'm making the same mistake I always make, which is to get too excited, expectations too high, ultimately 
to be let down. And that is the life of a landscape photographer. <laughs> Fingers crossed, that's not today. Well, this is embarrassing. Um, <laughs> I've messed up. I have messed up big time and I'm so annoyed with myself. So the thing with photography guidebooks is that not all locations are equal. Some locations literally are just a shot, one shot. Here's a tree by the lake, that's a location. Other locations are areas, areas to explore, vast locations full of lots of potential and different opportunities. Those are the ones I will aim towards when looking through a guidebook. And that's what we have here, Souther Scales, which is this beautiful large limestone area with lots of trees and lots of potential compositions. Now, anybody watching this might, <laughs> might be watching it, who's local in us's area, might watch it thinking, that doesn't, Tom, are you sure you're going, that's not, that's not right. You're not going, that doesn't look like Souther Scales. And you'd be right. It's not Souther Scales. Somehow, I don't know how, but somehow, well, I do know how, I've gone the wrong way. I've gone to a different location and it's not as good. Now only an absolute moron <laughs> would get a guidebook and not follow it correctly. Essentially what I did is we've got two locations here. We've got white scars and we've got the southern scales, both next to each other on the same spread. And what I've done is I've leafed over very quickly to the map you know, I don't bother reading the directions. I just look where it is on a map and then I can find it much easier that way. So I've gone to the map page and for some reason, I've looked at number four instead of number five on the map. And number four is white scars. Number five is southern scales. And they are some distance apart. I couldn't get there now for sunset. I would uh, I'd probably miss the best of the light. Um, so we are here at white scars. And don't get me wrong, it's beautiful, but there is a vast limestone pavement, which is good, it's what I wanted, but there's only one tree, one subject. I'm sure there are different variations on it, but <sighs> yeah, very, very disappointed, <laughs> disappointed in myself. I thought I was walking up here and I thought this isn't right. It says it's only, you know, 15 minutes. Um, and it took us about 45 to get here. And then I realized the error of my ways. Oh, not good. Not good. So I figured out where I went wrong with this location. And when I was looking at the guidebook and trying to plan my route, that's when Gavin kept calling me, kept ringing and ringing and ringing. Never leaves me alone. Can't take a hint. I never answer the phone yet. He calls and calls and calls. And when he does that, I just see his face pop, on, pop up on the screen and I just, I loot wherever, wherever I am, whatever I'm doing, I just, I just lose it. Like, um, that's it. Whatever I'm doing is ruined. Um, so Gavin is entirely to blame for this mistake. Um, anyway, I've left the tree. I'm no longer at the tree. Uh, it's very much a one shot location and I didn't fancy it. So I've come for a walk. I'm <laughs> well off piece now, but just down in the distance, I can see more trees, more interest, boulders, more limestone. None of this is in the guidebook, so whether or not it's any good, I don't know. Maybe it's just a bit too much off-piste. We'll see, but you can see just over the brow of the hill, I'll show you. So you can see this area here, there's just more, my fingers out of focus. You can see all these trees along here, and then if I spin you over this way, we've got more over here, all shapely, all blown by the wind. So there's gotta be potential down here. So we'll go and have a look and see what we can see. Oh, you can see the light behind me is glowing. It's really nice and this is now becoming stressful. Oh, it's becoming everything I didn't want it to be. A chase, a race, hunting for a composition, chasing the light. Ah, oh, okay, it looks like we might have a bit of potential. About 100 yards, 200 yards. Oh, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see when we get there, hang on. All right, hello. <laughs> okay, there's definitely potential in this tree here. Let's have a look. I have no idea if I'm in shot. <laughs> Even in the trees in shot. Oh man, what a rush. I really don't like rushing like this, but the, 
tree you can see behind me there. It's probably the best one I've seen. It's not perfect, but I think I can work with it, especially in this light. And hopefully we can come away with a nice image. <laughs> turn this, turn this afternoon, turn this photo shoot around. Uh, Cause at the minute it's been a, quite a lot of chaos and a bit of disappointment and a bit of foolishness on my part. Right. Oh man, I'm really, really running out of time here. Right, what do we want? I want the 16, no, sorry, the 14 to 30. And I, I feel like, I feel like I need to move very, very fast. Come on. All right, so I am, I am not happy with how I'm shooting this. And I don't mean my composition, I mean the fact that I am rushing around like an idiot. Am I even in shot? I think so. <laughs> okay, right, let's see how good this autofocus is on the Z8. I'm having to bracket. I'm shooting straight into the sun and I'm focusing on the tree and the sun is setting just between the branches of the tree. And uh, it's a very straightforward shot. It's a very rushed shot, but I think it's probably the only one at the minute because that is now more or less the light gone. Oh dear me. Oh, talk about last minute. <laughs> gone. The light's gone. Oh. Well, it's a beautiful evening, but I think I need to go back to the van, reset and try again in the morning. The light's gone now and uh, it's getting dark. So time to move on and uh, maybe we'll have a calmer affair tomorrow. Oh, let's see. All right, we are back at the van. I'm going to be sleeping here tonight um, because it's only like five, ten minutes from the location that I want to shoot in the morning and I don't know what the parking's like there, so it's fine here. And actually, there's two other camper vans here, plus two cars, I'm surprised. Um, and I'm in a tight spot. I was worried about reversing out, uh, so I actually turned the van around while I still, still had a little bit of daylight and was, you know, relatively wide awake. I don't want to reverse out of this tight spot at pitch black four in the morning, half asleep. That's just got disaster written all over it. So I'll turn the van around so now I can drive out much easier in the morning. Um, but yeah, that's it. I mean, I don't know. Let me, let me get settled in and then we'll, uh, we'll reflect, <laughs> reflect on the evening's events. All right, so we've got another chicken guacamole toasted tortilla, which I am very much looking forward to. I'm just going to forget about this this evening. It was all it was all right. It's just you know, man, I I really really let myself down by just not paying attention at all. I'm going to eat this and then just turn in for the night because I'm tired. Try and grab as many hours sleep as I can, and I will see you in the morning. Well, good morning, everybody. And it is a beautiful morning. And fingers crossed, there's no rain. In fact, it's clear blue skies overhead. But when I look all around me, there is lots of hill fog and lots of uh, threat of rain. We are surrounded <laughs> by potential rain. But I'm kind of hoping that doesn't come. To the east is clear-ish for now. We won't get that initial sunrise, but 10 minutes after sunrise we'll start to get light and that'll be quite nice that is if everything stays as it is but it looks to me like it's a very dynamic morning and anything could happen so what i'm hoping is that the light beats the rain so we don't need too much time but if the sun can break over the clouds and wash this area that we're going to with light that would be fantastic however 
that cloud is moving fast and that just could come and snuff everything out. And if that happens, well, yeah, I will be struggling. So let me thank the sponsor of this video just in case that does happen and we have to end the video. <laughs> the sponsor is Squarespace. Now, if you don't know who Squarespace are, they're an all-in-one website building platform where you can log on and build your own website using their intuitive drag and drop system. Now, if you're a photographer, you're gonna want your own website, but coding one is, well, incredibly complex and difficult. But with Squarespace, it's really easy and straightforward and can build a professional looking website with no coding or web experience, or no technical experience at all. Just go to squarespace.com forward slash Heaton and you'll get a free trial. Now, if you like that free trial, you can use the offer code Heaton for 10% off your first purchase. So yeah, definitely worth doing. Right, onwards, not too far, and I am confident this time, <laughs> is the right location. Flip it egg. I've reached the edge of the limestone pavement. It's a vast area as well. I've been walking for quite a while. I've been really struggling with the light. There's this one cloud that's been blocking the sunrise. There's light all around me as the sun comes up and eventually is gonna lift above this big cloud that's essentially been locking, blocking the light for all of the morning. Um, and it's, I feel like even if there was light, I still would have struggled this morning. This is a chaotic location. One that I feel would actually be much better in winter when all the leaves are stripped back. Ah, but yeah, no, no joy this morning, but that's the way it goes sometimes. Um, I'm okay with that. We had a lot of fun yesterday running around with some nice light. But yeah, we'll see. Never say never, we'll make our way back and we'll see what happens. Well, am I in need of a cup of tea? Uh, yeah, not a very successful morning, I have to say. Not, oh man, I'm, I'm making a mess. Uh, not one image, but that's the way it goes sometimes. I think last night, and the error I made with the guidebook might actually have been a blessing in disguise, because I think if I'd have gone to that location last night, hang on with steam oil. I think if I'd have gone to that location last night, um, I would have really regretted it. So I'm glad I stayed put where I was yesterday. I got that one image last night. We've had a great time out in the van, but that's, I think that's the key thing with landscape photography is the thing with Instagram and the thing with YouTube and the thing with the internet in general is you see these collection of fantastic images and you assume that people just go out and bag tons of images every single time they go out with a camera. That's not the case. You know, you have to work with locations, composition, light, weather, and it doesn't always work out. And this is a great example of that. You know, we had a, a full evening yesterday, a full morning this morning, and we've only come away with one image. Um, and that is the way it goes sometimes. So don't be discouraged if you go out with your camera and you don't always come back with an image. It's okay. It happens to us all. Um, and you just gotta keep going forward, learn from it. And yeah, you'll find yourself with a fantastic portfolio in no time at all. All right, cheers guys. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. On my website, I have two books available for purchase and I'll leave links in the description below. Thank you for watching and I will see you all hopefully next week.